Hello. Well, I'm here to talk about another Christmas movie. This one's another classic. It's A Wonderful Life. From Frank Capra. And uh, this is James Stewart's first movie since uh, <clears throat> getting out of the service. Uh, or out of the war, I should say, because he was in the military until, I believe, the 60s. But anyway, this was his first movie back since World War II, because he did not act in a single movie during the entire war. And, um, yeah. It's a classic, you know. It's, um... There's really nothing to say, to add to this. Just like a Christmas story. Everything has been said. You really can't find anything new. You know, you know, George Bailey wants to have a good life or a certain life for himself, and then he gets a different life than he expected. He wanted to go around the world, travel, do this and that. But for one reason, he stays, and then something else happens just as he's about to go, go off and, you know, do something and you know it's it's a it's one of those things like wherever as the movie goes on he appreciates what he has you know while he never th thought about getting married uh, and having kids or or uh, he just never really thought about at that point in his life he'd find or fall in love with somebody um yeah actually no he never thought about getting married. He never thought about doing any of that. He just was going to travel the world and just have adventures, have fun. And, um, maybe, you know, maybe if he found somebody like him in that way, who was adventurous and would want to travel and just do all this and that, uh, then he might have settled down with them and, you know, uh, had a child or two. But, he never really wanted to stay in his own hometown. He never wanted to do that. He wanted to do so many things, and um, it, things didn't go out the way or go the way he thought. He, he planned everything out, essentially, how it was going to go. But when his father got sick, and uh, he had to take care of things, and just, you know, one thing happens and everything culminates to the point where his guardian angel comes down and then he um, you know, it shows him what it's like, what it will be like when uh, if he never existed. His brother will be dead because he saved his brother from drowning. Also, I apologize if I miss some things. Um saw this not too long ago but I've been pretty busy and I had no I didn't have a whole lot of time to rewatch this within the last few days but I saw this in the beginning of the month apologize if I get anything wrong just as I get more into this but just want to throw that out there um, a lot of things been going on uh, recently but anyway so there's that, and as the film goes on, you know, he realizes he has, a, like, the best life he could ever have. You know, it's a wonderful life, as the title says. Um, and he appreciates everything. He appreciates his wife and his children and his job and everything more. He appreciates everything more. And uh, it's, a, it's a very good uh, movie. Um, Lionel Barrymore is also in this, you know. Obviously, James Stewart, Donna Reed, um, Gloria Graham, and uh, Beulah Bondi. I, I don't. I might be just messing up that name entirely. Um, now, this film, uh, this DVD, has the uh, new color and black and white restoration. I believe you can also get this on Blu-ray, but I still have the DVD, never gotten the Blu-ray, so I can't comment on whether or not this that Blu-ray is incredible. I would assume it is. Um, it's also a Paramount release. Um, this is also um, 
one of the many films James Stewart worked with Frank Capra on, you know. This is probably the most famous film they ever did together. Uh, but I think the best film they ever did was Mr. Smith Goes to Washington. And that's not to dismiss this or any of the other films they've made together. But, you know, this is very good. It's a good film to watch this time of year. Um, it's it's one of those that just uh, kind of makes you feel good, if that makes sense. Um, makes you feel good and appreciates. It makes you help appreciate what you have where uh, maybe in life you don't. For whatever reason, you take this or that for granted or maybe everything for granted and you don't think you have a good life but when you take a step back and you look at everything you have you realize it's a good you have a good life and everything is fine it's good perhaps if everything went as planned uh, you might have a miserable life maybe your life would not have been good anything that could have been positive possibly a negative was just around the corner like just as you got happiness you know, because he wanted to go around the world, travel, uh, and do so much, many things. Who knows, maybe as he was traveling the world, something would happen and he would have, like, maybe he would injure himself or witness a tragic, something tragic happened. You know, he wanted, you know, who knows, maybe he would have had a bad life if he, if everything he had planned, like, what if it was just, what if he had a, this or that happened and it was just bad. It was not good. Um, maybe he uh, could have uh, seen everything he wanted to see, but perhaps when he finally got there, it was very underwhelming for him. Like he felt like he had so much anticipation, and when he visited a certain place or certain sites, it just was underwhelming. Sometimes that happens. I'm not saying all the time, like places around the world, when you get there, it's underwhelming, like, um, say, the Eiffel Tower. Like, you want to see the Eiffel Tower, you want to go here, you there, and see all these sites from all these countries and cities. When you get there, you know, I'm not saying the Eiffel Tower is underwhelming at all. Um, but maybe somebody, maybe somebody out there, you know, they have it built in their mind of how it's going to be, how their experience is going to be. And when they finally get there and they see it, it's just not what they expected. It just wasn't as impressive as they hoped. I mean, I'm sure it would be impressive no matter what, but, you know, maybe somebody had so, they planned it out so well. How it was going to be and what they were going to do for that whole day. And when it came down to it, it just was Nah. Things went one way and just didn't go how they expected. Um, that's one of those things that happens with that movie. You know, it brings out uh, the appreciation of your your life and what you have, and um, I think that's a good message. You know, appreciate what you have. Um, and James Stewart's Guardian Angel uh, definitely does so. lacking on the Guardian Angel's name at the moment. Um, come on. Uh, Clarence. Yeah, Clarence, okay. Clarence, you know, yeah, he uh, shows George things are good, and he has a good life, and he doesn't need to want anything to have been different. He wouldn't want things to go differently. You know, uh, his brother would have died if he wasn't all around. Uh, his wife eventually wouldn't would have been in a position where she's not. Ha it's like she's not really happy. So many other things would have happened, and it's just, you know, it's, 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 things would have been a lot bleaker and sadder if George Bailey wasn't around. It's like one of those things, like, there's one person 
was able to make something just a bit hap bit happier. And without that person or without <clears throat> a certain component, things aren't as happy as they could be. And um yeah. It's a classic film that people watch every year and um uh, do you watch uh, It's a Wonderful Life? Or do you not? Um, I try to watch it every year. Um, I um, <clears throat> try to watch all these Christmas films every year. And um, I have fun doing so. They're entertaining. Um, I believe I watched the um, colored version of this uh, once before and then that was it. Uh, it wasn't a bad, you know, colorization, but I don't know. I, I like the black and white version better. Possibly because, you know, that's how it was originally shown. Um, but, you know, it's a cool version to have. Cool version to see, you know, different. Um, but, yeah, um... What do you do? you do you enjoy the movie? Do you um, not enjoy the film? Um, is it one of your favorite Christmas films? Is it not? Um, you know, it's one of the most classic film Christmas films ever made. Um, yeah, I believe it uh, deserves having that title of being a classic. Um, it wasn't a huge success at first. Um, did get nominated for Oscars. Uh, James Stewart did get nominated, um, but he did not win. Um, got nominated for Best Picture and Director, and uh, it only won a technical achievement for the development of a new method of simulating falling snow uh, motion picture sets, and, um, and that was it. That was an honorary Oscar, so guess that doesn't really count because um, it's going up against nobody else you know. but over the years you know Oscars are not um, the film is beloved the film is remembered well and um, it's the favorite movie James Stewart ever made um, I can understand it's a very feel-good film um, um, you know, as the movie goes on, he appreciates everything. It's, it gives you that good feeling. <clears throat> good feeling inside. Um, anyway, um, that's all I got. Um, apologies for if I messed anything up earlier. You know, uh, but I was right that his dad did die, and he has to. That's like essentially stops him from doing what he wanted to do wanted to go off and see the world and do this and that and, but uh, he did stay and he did um, have a wonderful life after all so uh, that's good um, I hope you all uh, have a good day I hope you all you know uh, watch some good films uh, watch um Christmas films, if that's what you want to do. Um, how many do you watch? Do you watch a lot? Do you watch few? Do you just have one that you watch every year? Or do you have none? Maybe you just don't really care about uh, Christmas movies. Or maybe you do like Christmas movies, but you don't want to just watch them one time of year. Maybe it's like a certain, like whenever you feel like it, you want to watch it. Um, it's a Wonderful Life or Christmas Vacation. Christmas Story, uh, Home Alone, or any other Christmas film that is often ranked as like the uh, the best uh, Christmas films, either of all time or of a decade or what have you. Um, yeah, that's really uh, all I have to say. Um, again, I hope you all have a good day. Hope you all have a good week. And until next time, keep on going. Bye.